What's up, Irish Nation? Steve Leslie, Anthony Romo, player profile, Urson High School, Tuesday night here at the Golden Dawn, another great night. We had a lot of people on, obviously, Anthony with the, the Urson soccer and the coach and Larry Phillips from the Irish football team. Cannot thank Johnny Naples enough for all they do at the Golden Dawn. The Irish will invade Anthony, another quality football team. Friday night, Villas Angeles, St. Joe's at Baldwin Wallace. Irish Nation, they need you out there. But, Anthony, I'll say this. If you can't make the game, come and watch the Guardians hopefully play off game one, which we'll get to talk Luca a little baseball. Watch the Guardians and come to the Don and watch the Irish with Richie Giuliano and myself. That's going to be a great game. Senior player profile, Luca Ricciuti, Anthony Romo. Luca, thanks for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. One of my favorite guys right here. I understand I, that. I think um, – Luca Ricciuti is that guy that um, was dealt a, a devastating injury. Um, two years in a row, labrum surgeries and those types of things, but was part of Anthony of a football program. The thing that impresses me about this young man is that one of the best teammates you could ever have. You see him every week when you call games on the sidelines. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you again for having me. How spe it's hard. I, I don't want to sit here and Anthony doesn't either and say it's easy to be that guy to have a jersey on and not be a part. You'd be on the field playing. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, obviously I was excited coming in my senior year trying to, you know, have one healthy season. You know, I wanted it really badly. But when I got the news, the uh, torn labor had to have surgery again. I, you know, I had to find my role and be there for my guys, you know, but um, there's worse things in the world, you know, so take off that on way. that. There's worse things in the world. We, it's a cruel roar. Yeah, that's a and, and I want to say this to everybody at YSN, the tragedy that happened to the young lady and Mark Pellini from all of us at YSN. Yeah, that, that, that's, um, Luca, we talk about that all the time. You know, the young lady, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Sports is secondary to what that young lady did. Uh, I had a that chance to meet her a couple times, obviously, but Mark Pellini and the Pellini family I'm very close with. So our thoughts and our hearts and prayers are out to them. It's not senior player pr profiles. It's not an injury that's going to cost a young man a football season. That's a, a life situation that uh, – very unfortunate. Yeah, that affected um, a couple of YSN communities. Sure. Mooney, of course, Mark played there, the Hubbard community, Miss right. Marion. Miss Marion taught, was, taught, taught was, high school right. math. Her and first was year was my senior year. At St. Charles with a, a young group of girls that Volleyball, a lot correct. of these senior cheerleaders have had, the younger cheerleaders. So, again, from all of us at YSN, not to steal your thunder, but I, I know you knew uh, the family and devastating was, was about how I could put it. But for you – I have the utmost respect in you because your family's huge. Mm -hmm. It is. Talk about that a little bit. They're, they're sitting here, your sisters, your brothers. We were just with Larry. You're the oldest. Yeah. That's not the easiest. Um, you're, you're a role model for those two sitting over there. Mm -hmm. Talk about your family and what they mean to you. Yeah, my family's always there when everything, anything's happening. You know, they're always supporting me and everything. And really close to my uh, parents, my siblings, and anything I could do to be a role model for them, I try to do my best, you know? Okay, so family. We all love family um, here at YSN. YSN's a big family. All our schools you talk about, your family. Mm -hmm. When you're down on the field, is it easy for you to spot your family in the crowd? Yeah, they always sit with the same people, so especially at home games. You know see, what but saying. here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this. At baseball games, it's real easy to spot them. I'm not going to lie. I've been able to coach them. I, I will say this, and I've coached a lot of great families. Mm -hmm. There's not a better family than the Judy family from a baseball standpoint. Um, and I will say this, the best second baseman I've ever coached. And I've had some, I know I'm going to make, I'm going to probably make a lot of people mad when, when they watch this. I hope they're not watching it, but from a YSN standpoint, the best second baseman I ever coached. Appreciate that. When you get injured again, take me what, what you're going through. Yeah, I mean, I and it started because you're playing it. Should have not tried to do the play that he did to re-injure it. Yeah, I will say that the games. I don't know. I think it was nine to two, and he's going barrels to the wall on trying to make plays and gets injured. 
Well, where are you at when that happens? You know, I found out that it was torn about eight games into the season. I did it in the game, and I felt it right away. But I took a couple weeks off, and then I wanted to come back because we were trying to make a run. And um, came back just hitting and then came back on the field. And, you know, it was a play at the end of the game. It was actually the last play of the game. And uh, it was a play probably I should have kept. But Yeah, you probably should have dislo- yeah. <laughs> Right when I threw it, I felt it dislocate, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I tried. I came back and hit the rest of the season. But throwing just – it wouldn't happen. You know, it couldn't happen the rest of the year. And I think that says a lot about you as a player, your, your drive. You never give up. Um, on and off the field, you have to have that man- mentality yeah. with everything you – especially in the classroom too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how, how important is school? Very important, you know. So how's it going um, to go? Finishing senior year strong and then um, find the college where I want to go. And where does Luca want to go to school? That's a question. I'm not sure. I'm down to a couple. I don't, I don't where know. Where are we where. at with a couple? Come um, on. YSU, okay. John Carroll, um, Kansas. Those are good David. choices. Yeah. I'm going to push YSU. I'm going to push that. <laughs> you go to YSU. You're part of it. What's Luca want to do when he goes to college? Uh, I want to study pre-med. I'm a doctor, yeah. You don't want to follow mom into the, the law nah. world? No? no, I don't. Nope. Nope. That's a pretty harsh answer. Like, I you're know. positive about that. You <laughs> watch know. what mom does <laughs> on a daily basis. I'm like, my family's law. I wouldn't want to do law. No. Daniel, if you're listening, I shouldn't say it, but don't do law. Stay in sports. Yeah. <laughs> it's the easy way. No, I don't. I don't well, well, it's the fun way for us. Fun way for us. What does Luca want to do? I, I, and I say that because I know you well enough. There's a lot of things coming that get harder for you to not be a part of if you can't do it. How do you handle it? I mean, you know, you got to take it one step at a time and, you know, you don't know what the future holds. But right now I'm just trying to figure out, you know, I, I have a set path right now that I want to take, but something may change in the future. You never know. So this football team, um, this is a common question we have with a lot of this, these seniors, this senior class. Um, we all know how heartbreaking last year's state title game was mm-hmm. for everyone involved, all the fans, the families, everyone, the players. Um, coming into this year as, as a senior class, mm-hmm. you got to say that you guys are a little bit more motivated to not only make it to that same place and try to win it this year for not only yourselves, but last year's senior class as well. Yeah. So those guys, we love those guys. Never forget them, but you got to move on at some point. Mm-hmm. You got to go sure. um, work harder for, for this, you know, the next year, but we have a team that is definitely capable of winning a state championship and you got to step up and know what you have and um, remember those guys, but you got to, you got to win it this year. You know what and I mean? then looking forward to this week, Villa Angela, St. Joe's. Um, this Another is a easy team. game for the Irish. Oh, cakewalk, <laughs> right? Just like every other week. Um, this is a team that you guys played last year. Um, it was on very late notice mm-hmm. and um, they, they kind of took you guys on the ground. Yeah. Game, something that, that we don't say often, do. but, but you look at, you look at it. Um, that was a very physical ball team. That's what Larry had said. Um, Looking into this week for the Urson Irish, what do you think um, this ball club has to do offensively and defensively to come out on top? You know, just stick to what we know. You know, mm-hmm. I don't think any team in the state could beat us with if we um, if what we're coached to do and mm-hmm. what we if we execute everything right. But you know, they're Villa and St. Joseph is a, a great team. You know, that was my first game back last year, and their running back was a great player. And I'm um, what I'm hearing is that they have just as good of a running back this year. So. If we're uh, if we do what we're coached to do, I, I see no reason why we can't win this game. Luca Ricciuti, senior player profile here at the Golden Dawn Tuesday night. Every Tuesday here at the Dawn Irish Nation, come on out. We are winding this season down. That's crazy. With Luca Ricciuti, he's heard some of these talks with me. We've had a lot of great conversations as player coach. I'm gonna say this to you: the schedule that Ursuline plays. It's good to lose. Uh, And I say that everybody wants to win every game. I get that. But I think you learn more in losing with the people you play that are as good or better than you. And this football team does it for you and this senior group that I love, that we come here every week and do. I think losing helps more. How how would you answer that? Yeah, I mean, you never want to lose. No, but no. um, the lessons that come from losing, you know, you got to know what you did wrong to fix the mistakes sure. to be right. And, you know, playing a tough schedule is a great thing because you face better teams that you may face in the playoffs sure. and you get prepared for what you face um, when it really matters, you know. So 
and so I'll ask this. Um, of course, kind of piggybacking off what Steve was saying, you guys play a very tough schedule each year. Um, outside of playing at Stambaugh Stadium, what has been your favorite away atmosphere to play in front of? Um, I know Chardon was, was an interesting one last yeah, year. Yeah, I would say probably at – Fitch is always a cool atmosphere. That was a good. That was a big yeah, game last always, year. It's always that was a, a big the win. big games are always fun game. to play. At. So he's telling you the big games yeah. are always fun. Same bees is a cool place. But is there not a big game for Urson? Uh, when you look at their schedule, I mean Farrell, uh, Brookfield, Fitch, Fitch, Saint Bees. Saint bees. Uh, East has come along. Now, there's a team on the south side, Cardinal Mooney, that'll be coming to town in a couple weeks. Yep. How close is the senior group? Extremely close. You know, we're always hanging out on the weekends. Uh, we've been close since freshman year. Um, it's just a special group, I think. Yeah, there's no doubt. And I'm glad my daughter and, and Jen's daughter are a part of a senior class that's special. Does that make it more special? Of course. You know, you want to um, win and lose with the with your brothers sure. and everyone that you know and love. And um, being so close, it means uh, more to you. And it's more special when um, you do it together. No doubt. Oh. And Anthony, we love calling games. You're the voice of, of the Irish and do a great job with that. Game night. I'm curious here. Like, I see this guy in a jersey. And Anthony, when we're doing the games, I'll look at him and he'll be standing on like the 25. And then you look down again and he's on the opposite 45. I'm, I'm going to say this. You, you know enough about sports baseball and football to be a coach mm. is that kind of the role that you've taken over helping your buddies and teammates out with stuff that you see on the sideline I mean I do as much as I can but um talking to the guys after um they play on the field and when they coming off the scene if I have something I see maybe you know coaching them up a little bit well, you better coach them up a little bit. you better coach them up Friday yeah. night because we're going in into another juggernaut Anthony so we all play sports. Uh, we've all played sports. All played. Does baseball. that drive you crazy to does. stand there? Uh, it's there's not a worse feeling, you know. You Absolutely, always, you that's get an out honest there. answer. And that's why I want to ask yeah. it. Like, that's got to be hard to do. It's, I've done it, you know, two years for football and a couple games for baseball, and it's it's you want to get out there so bad, play with your friends and everyone, but um, you know, you gotta. It's something you just got to deal with, you know. Anthony, we talk character all the time. Tough situations build character. We've been able to be a part of these. Uh, we have James McGlone coming up. He's playing soccer tonight, so he's going to be the last one. This is just my opinion. I, Anthony, I want yours. This right here, Luke Ricciuti is the leader of the fo Irish football team. Would you agree with that, Anthony? I would, just because of the hardships that you faced off of the field. Um, you've been through so much, you know how to, to kind of lead your guys on and off the field. And it also helps being a good athlete when you yeah, can be yeah. on the field as well. He's a pretty good athlete. I would say so. The tail's going to be better, though, but we'll get into that in another <laughs> situation. But, you know, he's on our little team. Mom and dad had to be huge for you. Um, huge. Leading the way. Mm -hmm. From an injury. I know your parents were devastated. I, I know when I saw it, I was devastated. Is that key to have good parents that can kind of push you towards the path of you're going to go to school, you're going to get good grades, you're going to get an education, yeah. and, and sports is secondary. That's a hard thing for a high school kid to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, my son Daniel went through a situation the same way and graduated in four years from college and then and, and flying with, with big colors. For the question for you, that's a credit to us in high school. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. The education that you get every day from, from people that are in the Golden Dawn. Yeah. Talk about your education from a St. Charles. There were a lot of choices for you to make. Mm -hmm. Why Ursula? Um, I, I was between Ursula and Canfield coming sure. to high school. And, and you have a lot of friends at Canfield. Exactly. AJ Avrilis, yeah. Lanker, and those guys. Yeah. You've played baseball with for years, and they're still good friends. Yeah, they are. Why Ursula High School? Um, First of all, the family aspect of it, I think – there's nothing like it. Everyone's so close. And even if you're not best friends with someone, you're still, it's like family and the education aspect of it. I think it's the best school in the area. There's um, so many AP courses, great teachers, all that, you know, um, you really can't beat it. And all my friends are going there and I'm so close with everyone at Erson. So 
can't beat. Good answer. That's a great that answer. Yeah, that's uh, you know Anthony. We won't hold it against him. He's from Hubbard. Oh, geez. but we went to school at Hubbard. We won't hold that against him. We love Hubbard and Wise, and just throwing a little jab at my boy here. I love what Anthony Romo does for Wise and in the path that he's taken. You see this football team. You were there Friday night for the second half after the volleyball match. What's it going to take to get over the hump, Ant? On on your take, um, I think that that each week is so hard for this team because there's like like Steve said, like we've said, every game so hard. There's no week off, and you guys are coming in to the day, the morning after. I'm sure you guys, Coach said, you come in and lift a little bit sore. I'm oh, sure yeah. from the night before because you guys just play so many big teams that are physical, just like you guys. Um, I think you would say this as well. You guys just just have to stay physical. You have to be yeah. the more physical team because mm-hmm. we've seen that that if this running rushing attack can be as lethal as we've seen it be this year, it opens up everything else. And it mm-hmm. starts in the trenches. You got to be physical down low. And then when the rushing game starts to become um, as successful as we've seen it be a lot this year, that opens up the passing game. You would say that as well, right? Of course. I mean, our rushing game's probably the uh, main point of our offense right now because of our O-line. Our O-line's unbelievable, you know, five seniors. And then uh, Jack and DC, obviously, they can throw the ball very well. So, you know, it's if you have everything clicking, it's pretty hard to stop that, you know. I want to ask you this. Like, you're tight with this whole senior class. Anthony, we joke about this all the time. You have some characters on the line. Frasco, Lugers, Colton Ross, Michael Branch, Branch, Isaac. Yep. And then you have – the Mark Mannings, oh, yeah. the Bernies, the DCs, the Ericsons, the Lynch. Mm-hmm. Where's like Where's Luca fall into this category? Are you more like, like beef and cheddar on the big line <laughs> leading away, or are you one of those skill guys? I mean, I've, I'm probably one of the skill guys. Okay, but, that's an honest um, answer. You know, I'm real close to the line. Absolutely. So you better you say gotta, you're close yeah, to the oh, yeah. line. You went to school yeah. with them forever. Yeah. So kind of falling in between, maybe. I'll accept that. Will you accept falling in between? I'll accept it. See, like, I love throwing digs at Bernie and Manning. Manning's the worst. With all yeah. the all the stuff before the game, yeah. <laughs> like all the he's making sure he looks nice and everything. Does he stand in front of a mirror? Oh, for two hours before the game. <laughs> but then he we're makes gonna, up for it. On Quinn, the field. we're going to have to redo the senior group come playoff time and and get with Manning Anthony too. But I think it's time. With Luca Ricciuti, senior profile, he's been fantastic. Urson High School, you don't get any better in the classroom, on the field, whatever he does, the way he represents Urson High School. Rapid fire? Yep. See, I, this me. is hard for me because I know I, I kind of can give you the answer. So I'm going to let you take the lead in a lot of these. All right. Uh, we'll start off with a hot one. Favorite member of the student section? Nick Baker. Nick Baco. Baco is a popular Baco answer. Baco is a very component. popular. I, how, how do you hear them? Of course. Like Especially we look him. down at them, and it's like chaos. Yeah. Yeah. And is that? I mean, for your the seniors obviously do a great job. That student section's chaos. It is. I mean, obviously when I was playing. Uh, you wouldn't hear him as much, but on but the sidelines, side right, you, you stand him. there and hear him. Oh, yeah, yeah and okay. Baco's always. So, Baco, you better be there at Baldwin Wallace Friday night, right? You better be. Um, I, I'm curious to see how this answer. Education's huge. Mm-hmm. Look at Rattuti's favorite teacher and favorite class. Um, Miss Rab and uh, Mr. Sam are two of my favorites, probably, and uh, AP Gov and AP Bauer. AP, see. Oh. I didn't Not have for to me. worry about AP. <laughs> Not I, for I, me. I didn't have to worry about AP in my time. So shout out, shout out to those to teachers for all they do. Favorite professional baseball team? The Cleveland Guardians. Who just won. Just Who just won. won as Five we to three. Can we win the World Series? Better Did you turn 18 yet? No, not yet. All right, so you got a lot of time yet to be, get heartache by watching them play. We'll just leave that at that. I think this team can win a World Series. I really do because of their pitching. They're gritty too. Yeah. Um, a lot of young guys that, that play hard. I'm going to put them on the spot here with this one because he's had a, a lot of St. Charles folks. He has a young lady that he dates that's a sweetheart. So, Luca Ricciuti's favorite senior cheerleader is – Oh, it's too many. But it's a good answer, Luke. I love the dodging, <laughs> dodging <laughs> weave. 
uh, Hannah Zett, Hannah Zett, Clegg, Marissa Ashley Clegg, Favre, Ashley Favre. Favre. Oh, he'll okay. just name all of them. Could name the whole senior <laughs> group. He knows all of them. That's I'm a good answer. Of those Politically probably. correct. <laughs> That's a good answer. Favorite college football team? Ohio State by far. What do you think about Ohio State there? Whew. Haven't been able to see many. Games All right, this, this is year off the air. So like busy. Georgia barely beats Missouri. Yep. We, we're the number one team in the nation. I know where you're going for. We That's are 100. percent Do you 100? percent We're number one. 100. percent You're telling me we could beat Georgia and we could beat Bama. Very confident in that. I want to believe you in that. I do because I think they're really good. We haven't been healthy all year either. When we get healthy, yeah. With Jackson and uh, um, Trevion. Trevion. See, these two could do their own show. <laughs> and you better. I say my. My selling point for YSU, you should be go to YSU because next year they play the Buckeyes I know. in Columbus. That's right. All right Steve so, will be up in the box. So we could get – we're going to push YSU for education. Right. I know mom and dad will be happy with All that. Right. We'll even let you live on campus. Right, mom? Uh, right, mom? Campus? Okay. <laughs> so we're pushing YSU. Um, role models. They have to be sitting over. Yeah. Who's your role model? My mom and my dad. You know, both of them, both um, – great leaders in my life um, with anything I do and I can always look up to them and whatever they're um, doing for me, I can replicate it in my life. How fun is it for you to watch Teo and your sister be, a, your sister's a freshman at Urson. Yeah, yep. You're a senior. How, how, first of all, before we get into Teo, how fun is that for you to be the older brother that's kind of leading the way? It's very fun. You know, we, um, Teo and I always play video games, sports together, and me and I always, uh, you know, I take her every morning, get to talk to her every morning. So, um, very special. Having Are you on time? Oh, That's every morning. We're, 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 um, we get there 10 minutes before we should get there. Is that true? Is that true? That's true. All right. So you're a good brother. Yeah. Like Daniel and Grace, they would be late 24 <laughs> seven. So tail. tail. Yep. Good baseball good player. Is. Obviously I, I know what he thinks of you. Uh -huh. When you go watch him play, how fun is that? It's awesome, you know, because you try. You to were think, there. You did yeah. that as a Canfield yeah, exactly. player to state tournaments, exactly. all that. You know, it's awesome watching them and his whole team go through their process, and you know, coaching them up a little bit and telling them, you know, what he did good, what he did bad, and it's just special being there. You know, Tail Ratchuti. I think he has more Astro gear than I do. <laughs> oh, really? If that's possible. I don't have any. I think he has more hats than I could physically have. You don't have any? No. You never gave me any. Uh, we'll we'll have to work on that. How, how do you want this? I, and I'm not saying you individually. Again, I think you lead this group by example, being on the field, being there every day, being a part of it. Anthony, we talk all the time, is more important to me than that guy that's in a snap every play. How do you want this to, to end for this group? When you look back, we're week eight. It, obviously, the playoffs are in sight. Hmm. What do you want to see this team accomplish? I mean, a state championship, obviously. I think you have all the components to make a run and win a state championship, and that comes from being consistent, being, um, you know, coming to practice every day, working hard, and I think all our guys are going to do that. And um, there's no reason why we um, shouldn't win a state championship, I believe. So you're, you're the music wizard, so I'll let you take the music <laughs> aspect. He's going to have a long bus ride to Baldwin-Wallace. Um, go ahead. Uh, what what music are you listening to on the way to the game? Probably one song, Vet Motors" by NBA YoungBoy. Oh, it's just give me some. Yep. I'm Steve, 55 years Steve's old. Steve's getting acclimated. How old are you? Yeah, to 20. think about it. 20. 20. Yeah, but think about it. He's 17, going to be 18. So might have to listen to some NBA YoungBoy. Vet Motors. Might have to. 38 baby. There's a lot of good young Richie boys and Steve. Richie Giuliano and I'll be on the drive. Maybe I'll have Richie pop in some. Grace could get you guys. Uh, Grace could do it too. She's she going to be in the car. The but I'll probably be sports radio listening to the Guardians. Luca Ricciuti, senior player player profile. Urson High School, you have a gem here that it's not, Anthony, we talk about all the time. It's how do you overcome tough situations? Look at a Luca Ricciuti, in my opinion, and, and see from all of us at YSN, injuries don't define people's high school paths and careers. You have a very bright future with all you want to do. Anthony, I know I've enjoyed this. You have. Best of luck to you from Thank all you. of us at YSN. Appreciate it. All righty. Appreciate it.